One fine morning you were walking beside the canal in English countryside. Long boats sailing by, people enjoying the beautiful day. All of a sudden you see something on the opposite bank and you stop on your track. It vanished in thin air. What it could be? A mermaid sitting on the rock? How can that be? You want to find out the distance to the rock on the far side of the canal. Why? You don't know. You search your bag and find a small measuring tape and a lensatic compass. Voila! The surveyor in you itching to find the distance. You mark a point on the ground, point A, and mark another point 10 meters away, point B. Now you are ready to do some measurement. Just to be clear, magnetic compass needle points towards magnetic north. With a lensatic compass, you can find out the bearing of any point you point to. Lensatic compass was very handy during old days of navigation and still being used by backcountry explorer with paper map. With that in mind, standing at point B, you aim your compass towards point A and note down the reading as 250 degree. Now you point your compass to that rock Let's call it point C and find its bearing to be 3 to 0 degree. You walk back to point A and aim towards point C and take reading as 0 to 0 degree. Now you know that B to A bearing was 250 degree, so reciprocal bearing from A to B will be 250 minus 180 or 070 degree. With all this data in your hand, you sit down to calculate the distance to the rock or point C. Now at this point, I'll ask my audience to pause the video and try to do the calculation themselves to see if they match. Okay, let's move ahead. So angle A is going to be 50 degree. Angle B is going to be 70 degree. And as we already know that all the inner angles of a triangle is 180 degree, so angle C must be 60 degree. So far so good. Now we have three angles and a side of a triangle. Back to our surveyor. You know that side opposite to angle A will be small a, side opposite to angle B will be small b, and side opposite to angle C will be small c. As per the law of sines, side A divided by sine of angle A is equal to side B divided by sine of angle B is equal to side C divided by sine of angle C. And here you want to find out the distance to the rock from point A and that is side B. So from the sine formula, side B is equal to side C multiplied by sine of angle B divided by sine of angle C. And the distance comes to 10.851 meter. With this formula, you can now find the distance to the rock from point B also. You are happy to find out that you were just about 10.8 meter away from a possible mermaid sightings and you happily sing along row 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 your boat gently down the stream wait what did you again spot the same mermaid no not possible you must be dreaming you walk down singing merrily 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 life is but a dream did you know that similar process were adopted during Great Trigonometrical Survey of India nearly 220 years back? That time surveyors were using half a ton weight theodolite to measure angle and a 100 foot chain was used to measure the baseline length. This is triangulation, a process widely used even today. Thanks for being here today with me till the end. Let's meet again very soon.